Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create constant variables in the Kavisys environment. Uh, to do so, I have created a very simple uh, project in, in which I've used structured text as the programming language. And as you can see here, I have three variables, area, radius, and pi. And I'm uh, calculating the area as the radius times radius times pi. And all the variables are declared normally. So if I uh, log in and run the code, I will be able to change the value for the radius and also for the pi, and then the value for the area will be determined. That's what I will show you right now. Okay, so let's download. Yeah, and now I can run the code. Here the value for the area and radius uh, are zero because we have the, the initial value for the radius is zero. If I change it to 10 by pressing F7 and alt F7, you can see that the value for area changes as well. But here I can also change the value for the pi as well. And it will affect the, the value for the area. Uh, so in this case, it would, be, it would be better to have the pi as a constant variable instead of having it uh, modifiable in the run mode. To do so, let's log out. And then here in the variable declaration area, I will create a new field, which is called var constant. constant. And by pressing enter the area will be created then i select this pi i cut it from there and paste it here save the project plug in and run the code and here you can see that this c mark inside the green circle is appeared here which shows that the variable is a constant one right? and we cannot if we cannot yeah, modify it if you try to modify the value you see that the constant values cannot be forced or written you can also change the values for the radius to 12 pressing f7 out of 7 you will see the value for the area as well so here i can also try to change the value for the area by setting it to 20 but afterwards you, you see that since the area is uh, gets its value from the radius and pi it will be calculated again and i cannot change the value for pi again okay that's all for this video in this way you can create the constant variables and use them within the project and the users in the runtime will not have access to change their values for such a constant variable thank you for watching and Please don't forget to share the video if you think that it would be useful for someone else to watch. See you next time.